Hello Capricorn. I hope you're you're doing well. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. Capricorn, when I was meditating on your energy, I have a feeling that you guys are in for a very big week, much like Sagittarius, but yours is going to be in a different way. Um you may feel I want you guys to make sure first that you're getting your rest all right you need to replenish you need to meditate you need to get your sleep you need to take care of yourself very much this year i don't know who this is for but i definitely saw an awakening coming for you this week um a kundalini kundalini awakening a an awakening to the um Oh my gosh, I just lost the word. The records, the Akashic records, you're going to be, they're going to be coming to you. The wisdom from the ages is, is you're going to be having an, an awakening. Um, if this is not in the spiritual sense, you're going to be getting a lot of information coming at you, no matter what. All right, you're going to feel as if you're in information overload. Be sure to get enough rest and enough water. Okay, we have past, present, and future energies. You know what? This is going to drive me nuts. Hold on. Okay, that's better. Even though I'm not centered. Why am I not centered? I don't know. It's going to drive me nuts. The reason for the whole reading. Four of Swords. Ah, that's why. That's why you're having the awakening. You've been doing your work. You've been going within. You've been meditating. You've been healing. You've been taking everything into stock and accountability for actions within yourself. Now, this is definitely a week where you're going to want to focus out. You're go, but you, you're balancing out. You're balancing out. So you may want... We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so the reason for the reading is because of the Four of Swords. Past energies, Nine of Swords. That's the Nightmare card. Complete halt, complete stop, complete blockage. All right? No sleep. Current energies, we have the Five of Cups, feeling left out, a lack, not having enough. It's like being in the desert and there is a big oasis of water, but you can't get to it because of a massive crocodile, is, is what I'm getting off of this Five of Cups. Okay, Five of Cups along with Four of Pentacles. Holding off, holding back, covering your heart, sitting still. Yeah. This is very still energy. Both of these are very still energy. Because you're recuperating from this Nine of Swords. In the future, we have the Seven of Wands. The Nine of Wands. The Tower. Do you clarify for the Tower? Ace of Swords. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so this energy is going to be coming in. This is a lot of times when I do the readings, when I say in the future, the energies are... A lot of them are actually into the future. This is not that far into the future. This is quickly coming in. Right now, you're at the Five of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, and you're feeling stuck and stagnant and like you cannot move forward. You're not allowed to move forward. But then we have the Seven of Wands coming in. 
okay? That is standing your ground. That is having your say. That is planting your feet firmly. Then we have the Knight of Wands, Nine of Wands, which that's the wounded warrior, right? If you notice the progression in the sky, what's happening? From the seven to the nine, storm clouds are rolling in, sun or the sun is going down, right? You're gonna see what's upside down. You're gonna you're gonna see so, something come through that doesn't look quite right. You're gonna see you're gonna see some truths. And why do I say that? <clears throat> well, I got that from the cards, but then we have the tower with the ace of swords, truth coming in truth coming in this tower is truth and clarity which goes along with all that information i said you're going to be getting okay what's this five of cups please what's the five of cups hermit and temperance both major arcanas this five of cups, this feeling lack, this feeling of you can't get to what you want because of an obstacle in your way. You're going to find out you are your obstacle. You are your own obstacle, but you're going to learn how to balance out your energies, your thoughts. Look at that. Under that, we have the higher offense. You're going to learn. Under the hermit, we have strength. You're going to learn to be patient. You're going to learn to go within for your answers. Eight of Wands. You're going to learn that you have the strength to do this. Whatever this is, whatever this Four of Pentacles is holding you back from, you're going to learn how to get there. You're going to learn that you have the power to get you there. Bottom of the deck, we have justice with the four of swords. Balance. This was on the bottom of the deck. Oh, here it is, right here, four of swords. All right. You're going to find that your balance comes through meditation and contemplation. Judgment. Passing your judgment. Page of Wands, making a plan, Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords. Moving forward with the truth. You're going to be, like I said in the very beginning, you're getting a lot of information. You're getting a lot of information. You're going to learn, you're going to learn a lot of things. You're going to learn a lot about within you and the world around you, all the tricky, shady stuff that's going on. And that's going to bring in justice and balance. And you're taking in all of this information on what to do with it. Capricorn. Hangman. More contemplation. It's going to give you a brand new look at the world around you. Four of Swords. It's going to give you new stability. Queen of Pentacles. New foundation to move from. Capricorn, you guys... Get your rest, get your sleep. You're going to need it. Six of Wands, because you have a victory coming in over this Five of Cups. Over this Five of Cups. You have a victory coming in over this Five of Cups. Five of Cups, Five of Swords, Nine of Cups. You know why he won? Because he had an upper hand. He was better. Is that because he had more knowledge? Wish coming in. Your wish is to be over this five of cups and to have and, and to have this upper hand. You're getting an upper hand. You're about to get an upper hand. Spirit is bringing you an upper hand. 
okay? Go within. Find the knowledge that's, that's within. Go within and find the knowledge. Look, magician, high priestess, magician and high priestess together. That's insane. You've got major information. Hierophant. Yeah, the Hierophant again. My crap. High Priestess again. High Priestess. I just told you High Priestess. The moon. Yep. 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 Past information. This is information. The Akashic Records. You guys are so tapped in. High Priestess with the moon and Eight of Wands. You're getting information about what is not seen and moving forward. You're moving forward low key. This is definite low key movement, okay? Wow, that's that's crazy. I thought Sagittarius's reading was insane too. This is major, major, major stuff coming through here for you. What is Sagitt uh, sorry, Capricorn's main fear that's holding them back from this? What is Capricorn's main fear that's holding them back? On the bottom, we have love. You don't want to be left out. You don't want to feel like you're left out anymore. Persecution and inquisition not being accepted for you. Spouse. Commitment. Committing to yourself. And the old way of doing things. You're worried about it. Your biggest fear is that you will not be loved for who you really are. And committing to yourself. Get past the old the old way of doing things. Things is done and over with. It's gone. The old way of looking. You guys know this though. I remember your last reading. Moving in silence. Well, we still got silence. And whatever you guys have been doing is paying off because... Wow. Look. The star... Look at the future with hope and optimism, the power of faith to move mountains. Happy changes that bring relief from challenging times along with the ton of spring. Ask for help from others, all work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. Okay, you guys are almost at a point where you're ready to speak about what's going on with you. Um... Lighten your energy up a little bit before you do so. Whatever you guys have been planning, whatever this information is, lighten up your energies before you bring it out, okay? Don't look at things bleakly. You're getting a lot of downloads. Take care of yourself here. Where is this taking you? Truth. Clarity. Far reaching. Distant thunder, clear the air. You see what's coming. She sees that storm coming. You're getting the upper hand. Big time. You are good you are getting some information from somewhere. And it is definitely giving you the upper hand. Okay. Capricorn, that was intense. That was really freaking intense. All right, you guys have a great week. I'll see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.